What is up everybody? Today is May 4th, 2020. Just got done the work day. So I figured I'd take, you know, a quick shot at uh, a spot that I haven't fished in a while. Um, I have soft plastic, so I'm hoping we can find some stripers. So stay tuned and let's see what we get. All right, so for today's trip, we're gonna keep it very simple. Uh, I do have bloodworms that, uh, you know, I've been in my fridge for about two weeks, so I'm gonna try and use them up. We're gonna use this, you know, high-low rig with a one ounce swivel sinker. Uh, we're gonna dead stick that. Now, what I really wanna primarily work is soft plastics. Now I have gold. <clears throat> I got my handy dandy bag that's not very organized, but I got a ton of soft plastics. You know, Mr. Crappy, Jigs, uh, Euro Tackle, B Vibes, Y Fries. I got a ton, and, and obviously Berkeley Gulp. Um, what I'm going to be fishing is just a half ounce VMC jig, and then two feet up, I have a Gamagatsu 3 0 hook. This is like my go to flounder rig uh, for jigging. What I'm going to end up doing is just kind of making some cast, blind casts. I'm going to try and, you know, jig the bottom first. Where I'm going, there is some structure, so I have to be careful. If that becomes the case, we're just going to slow retrieve them back. Um, probably going to be using the swimming mullet. Um, why I like the Berkeley Gulp swimming mullet is it ha the tail has so much action. And I think it will mimic a lot of, you know, the bait fish that these uh, little stripers are feeding on. Now, if push comes to shove and we see you know some smaller fish i am going to try one of these uh slab stacker jigs uh or rigs i guess they're called i bought these a while back off bass pro because they looked awesome and i really wanted to get into some you know crappie fishing um they're really not hard to tie all it is is a marabou jig and then six inches up a little like drop shot hook that you could probably you know put a soft plastic on but these look too good to not, you know, try. So if we get the chance, we are going to try it. Um, but stay tuned. Let me pack the rest of my truck and get out there. All right. So first rig, I'm going to rig up with some blood worms because they're on their last leg. And, you know, before I go out and get more bait, I'd rather use up what I have. We're going to toss this out and then I'm going to tie on a fluke rig on my other rod. So oh, I'm gonna put that down. All right, first cast of the day, baby. Hopefully, the fish are biting. We'll find out very shortly. All right, so I just tied on the fluke rig. I'm going to put two uh, pearl white swimming mullet on. See if that uh, might entice a bite. So, I'll just throw them on. One on the bottom, which is a VMC half ounce moon eye jig. Just get it all the way up there. Yeah, that looks good. And then one on the teaser hook up top. So all I'm letting it do is sink to the bottom and then I'm just jigging it back. There's a lot of debris right where I'm fishing, so I might have to uh, slow retrieve it instead of jigging off the bottom but I know fish hang tighter to the bottom right now so I'm hoping that I'll be able to find one now I'm just gonna oh let's go let's go I was just about to say I'm about to jig it off the bottom let's go first fish of the day is a striper with a diaper all right, man, first fish of the day, no skunk today, man. I thought I'd never have to worry about skunks, but apparently everybody, uh, not, nobody's immune to them. All right, so we're getting a little bit of a hit on the bloodworm. Not a fish. Second species of the day is just a baby juvenile male uh, blue crab. Man, you had my hopes up. I thought you were going to be a fish, but we're going to let him go. 
Now, while I'm fishing this rig, all I'm doing is pitching it out and just slow retrieving it. Now, I tried jigging the bottom a little bit with it, but the uh, problem with that is uh, there is so much debris where I'm fishing. Um, I just know it from fishing my boat and, you know, looking at my depth finder and side scan, you can literally see remnants of like, you know, old docks and, you know, other debris on the bottom. So we're just gonna slow retrieve it. Hopefully uh, that's not the only fish that we catch today, you know. But look at that little bit of action that has, man. That's like good looking bait. Now, some of you might be wondering why am I fishing, you know, fresh water so much recently? Well, they closed all the state parks uh, by me. They reopened them just to close them again. I mean, the one I was planning on doing a video at, they opened for one day and within a day, the state shut it back down because they were claiming that people were not following social distancing uh, rules and that too many people were crowding, you know, those parks. So here we are up river. Now, I'm hoping that they change their minds soon, but, you know, I'm kind of at the will of, you know, the government right now and what they, you know, deem as necessary and unnecessary. Now I'm thinking that these stripers that we're getting are definitely targeting minnows because I've been seeing a ton of schools of minnows. That's why we went with the bait that, you know, the artificial bait that we're actually using. Um, you know, if you can match what they're feeding on, you'll have a much better success than, you know, just randomly throwing stuff. I might switch to honestly a darker colored uh, soft plastic in a second. See if that gets anything. All right, we're gonna give this spot a few more casts and move on if it doesn't, you know, pick up. Right now, we've gotten one very small striped bass and one blue crab. So, you know, it's not been uh, lights out fishing so far, but we have only been here about 10 minutes. So, I'll probably give it another five before we make a, a move to a different spot. Fish on, let's go, let's go. All right, they must have heard me say that we were gonna leave. I mean, they are going in the wrong direction because that is way smaller than the first one, but it's still a fish, man. Beautiful baby striped bass. Does anybody else ever feel like you say to yourself or you might say out loud, you know, one more cast and I'm done or, you know, it's too slow, I'm gonna probably move and go figure you catch a fish on that cast and then you waste, you know, 30 more minutes at that spot because you think that they're gonna still be biting. That's how I feel right now. Like that little fish gave me hope to stay here as I'm getting crushed by gnats. One bad thing about this weather, man, ooh, ooh, had a hit, but he dropped it. Um, the warm weather brings out the gnats, boy, and. You know, the first time you feel them, you're like, you know what? I've missed these guys. It's been so cold all winter. And then after about 20 minutes of getting chewed alive, you're like, you know what? I'm good. They're, they're like, uh, I don't know what's worse, them or greenheads. If you, if you don't know what a greenhead is, man, 
God bless you. But where I live, they are the absolute worst. Now I am letting it sink to the bottom. I have I stopped jigging it off the bottom just because uh, two times I came very close to getting hung up in you know debris. So I'm just really slow working it back, kind of slower than you know most people would uh, work these. But for these you know small fish, they're a little more timid than the bigger stripers. The bigger stripers don't care; they'll come after it. These small ones kind of. You know, I don't know if they just are intimidated by the size of it. I don't know if that's a crab or if it's a fish. Something's messing with the blood worm. Yep, that's a crab. We're just going to reel the blood worm in because they're in the way right now and it just seems to be an attractant for all the crabs, so we're gonna keep that off to the side. These fish are hitting me right in the same spot, so I'm gonna kind of slow work it over that little little slough. Ooh. All right, so we're just gonna, oh, oh, son. Damn, that one hit it right when I was just about to pull it back in. Let's go. That one's a bigger one. Definitely not a keeper, but. Damn, oh, he's back in the water. All right, I'm gonna try cast under the bridge and see if maybe there's something hanging under here. Oh, had a hit. I had a hit. Let's get that back under there. I got a little too excited though. It's just reliving my snakehead swing and miss. Got too excited. Definitely had a hit though. Fish on, fish on baby. On the top. Look at that. Ah, ow, ow, ow. Got the jig head in my knee. Ow, son of a gun. Look at that, whoa. I got, I got a fish and then I got a jig in my knee. I'll have to deal with that later, but. Ah. All right, man, we're on number four. And look at that guy, that is a male. Let me see if you can see that. He is spawning, so let's get him back so he can go get it on. Alright, went back from under where I was just because, oh man, there's, look at that, oh my god, look at the eye, uh, bass just jumping in there, go figure, I leave, as soon as I leave, oh. let's try and pitch it under there, there's definitely like a few fish just jumping, right, oh, oh, as soon as I cast it, something grabbed it, fish on baby, oh, he dropped it, Got him again. Got him on the second time. Look at that. Oh, man. Look at that, son. Look at that. That wasn't a striper. Dude, that was a big perch. That was a freaking huge perch. Let's go. Got a perch on the freaking jig. Oh, man. That's awesome. Dude, that's sweet, man. We're going to let this guy go, but he, uh, he ripped the tail off, so we're going to have to put a new one on. Now, I don't know if you can see with my camera, but there is a school of minnows right there. I mean, this war is so dirty, but there's got to be about 200 of them right there. That's definitely why they're <clears throat> feeding right here is because there's plenty of bait. But, dude, I was not expecting a giant perch to be, you know, what was busting under this spot. Ooh, as soon as I just hit, as soon as I just hit something, grabbed it. Oh. Grabbed it and dropped it. Let's try and get it back under there. 
dude i was not expecting a perch i'm being honest with you not that you know you, that i wasn't expecting them to be where we were fishing but um man they're just busting busting on them literally busting on this dude look at that that's sweet man I don't know if that's little stripers or perch, but whatever it is, man, it is just going to town on these minnows. I might switch my bait up to something that looks something like these minnows. All right, so I'm gonna put a B vibe on this crappy jig I just tied. It's a slab stacker. So what it is, is a marabou jig at the bottom, and then I got a teaser hook above, just like that fluke rig we were fishing. Dude, this should be money, man, for that size fish. That that should be money. Let's find out if it is. I might have honestly been fishing too big. Ooh. That's like the fifth time I didn't open my bail today and try casting. Fish on. Let's go. First cast. First freaking cast is... A tiny perch on the marabou jig, baby. Let's go. That's why you always pack, man. I pack like like a hoarder when it comes to fishing, man. I got like tuna and shark stuff in my bag. Not that we're going to use it for this type of fishing, but you never know, man. The worst feeling in the world sometimes is when you get to a fishing spot and you... Oh, ah, oh, I just pulled it out of his mouth. Worst thing you can do sometimes is not have the right stuff. And one of the worst feelings is when you're at home, or I'm sorry, when you're fishing and you know that all that stuff, you know, is sitting in your shed or sitting in your garage and you're like kicking yourself like, man, I should have had that here. All right, just pitched her out. They're just busting on the surface right now. I'll try and get it right on top of them. Ah, just shy of it. Yeah, they are just right on top of those fish. I could just see them dancing. Oh, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fish on. Got him. Got him, baby. Let's go. Now, that was a little striper that time. On the marabou jig. That's awesome. Man, I could just hear him busting over here they try and get back out all right so i ran back to my truck and got my two ultralight rods i'm going to set up a popper on one and a suspended jig on the other so i think we're going to go with uh, what jig there's so many jigs to choose from i think i might go with one of these uh moon eye jigs just because just don't know which color I like. Maybe we'll go, uh, mm, yeah, we'll go white. We'll go with the 116th ounce white. All right, so I grabbed the uh, ultralight out of the car. I got this nice little 1 8 ounce jig with a little curly tail. We're going to give that a shot. Um, I probably should have been fishing an ultralight this whole time. Oh. Yeah, something's definitely chasing bait right here. I could hear it. I have to try and cast right there, see if... Oh. Fish on. Let's go. Got it. Oh, damn. There we go. Oh, man, look at that. Striper with a diaper, baby. Yeah, because I had a... A handful of fish following my bigger bait, but they would literally follow it to the surface and then uh, wouldn't hit it. So I figured, you know what? I got the ultralight in my car. Why don't I, you know, bring it out? Because you know we we're not well, we're not catching you know world record stripers. You know, all right, we're gonna give this popper a quick shot. It's a. Um, Storm 
three inch popper. Not sure the exact name I could find out. Oh, fish on, let's go. Let's freaking go, baby, on the popper. Look at that, look at that freaking perch, dude. Look at that freaking perch. Damn, son, on the popper. That's freaking awesome. I've never, never caught a uh, big perch like this <clears throat> on a, uh, oh, let me uh, lip him. Oh, look at that, dude, look at that. Look inside his mouth. He's got a minnow inside his mouth. I, can't, I don't know if you could see that. That's sweet. All right, we're gonna let this guy go, man. That's freaking awesome. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, as always, leave a comment down below. Um, if you're not a subscriber, join the club, man. We are accepting everybody. So just click that button down below. Have a great day. I'll see you guys soon.